How About That Cigar is proud to bring you coverage of the 2024 PCA Trade Show. Burn cigars, not bridges. How About That Cigar? Day 2 PCA 2024. I'm here with FYL Fuck Your Life Cigars. <laughs> My brother Greg Free, uh, I love you, brother. But love you too. Tell me your new name. I butcher it every time. Fortaleza Libre. Fortaleza Libre. That might be the first time I said it right. You did. Congratulations. Oh. Making progress. Day I'm two. On We're on it. Cow. He's learning Spanish. Well, holy bullshit! I said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Holy bullshit. And hey, I'm just Ed. That's Ed back there, and that's. Fuck it up already. I I, I no. <laughs> I fi I fixed it. I gave him the proper name of his cigar now. So, brother, how was day one? It was twice as good as last year. That's great. Which is great. We had a lot more traffic flow back here in the corner than we did first day last year. Uh, a lot of new customers, uh, scheduled events already, gotten orders in. So we're in a place that's really good right at this time. So, and today, traffic's twice as busy, too. So Awesome. Yeah. So tell us about the new cigar. So the new cigar is going to be first-generation Cuban seed grown in the DR. It's the Criollo 98 hybrid. So you've got that Criollo 98 along with some Nicaraguan Esteli Lajero. So double Lajero in the core, Criollo 98 in the filler. The binder is going to be Dominican Palado Cubano with a Mexican San Andres wrapper. It burns like a true full on first roll, but these have been aged for 15 months. You've got a nice medium full expression with all that flavor. This you, is delicious. I was just going to ask you, what you think? This is delicious, and I've, I've smoked a few of them. And, you know, my, your, my favorite cigar that you make is the Sun Country, and this might have taken it over. This is a delicious cigar, brother. Thank you. Yeah, Sun Country is still the number one selling blend. For now. For now, but I really do think this one will take it over. Yep. Great smoke. I love, uh, I love the box. I'm messing up the stuff. I do this all the time. Beautiful box, beautiful band. Amazing size. I think it suits it perfect. Um, so, what's next? I know you're always working on the next one. So, the next one's going to be an event exclusive Lonsdale. It's going to be using a lot of that Criolla 98. I mean, remember, we planted that four and a half years ago, and we've planted it every year since, but we're using the four and a half year old product. So, that Lonsdale is going to be that Criolla 98. It's going to incorporate some Pennsylvania tobacco. My family's from Pennsylvania, so I always wanted to get that in there. Uh, and it's going to have an Ecuadorian Corojo wrapper. You see these clowns behind us? Yeah. Only with a brother like him can we do this. Mm -hmm. um, so just so you know, I'm going to be stealing about three, four more of these. Um, but at least this year, last year was a sun country. Yeah. So one other question. Are you going to be at Tobaccoology Boil this year? My plan is to be there because it's on my birthday weekend. So... You know, you got to celebrate your birthday with your boys. Yes, you do. And we will be at Tobac Allergy. Awesome. Yeah. See, you say it that way. I say it my way. I think I'm going to have to go to English lessons or Spanish lessons or something. I honestly think you probably speak Slovakian, and you just don't even know, and you're just translating all the words from Slovakian. I did spend some, well, that was Germany. That's something different. Yeah. But thanks for your time, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Love you guys. Tune in, tune in for some more interviews later on. Thank you.